what is up everybody, Depraved Slasher here, and today we are actually going to be playing something new in honor of Gen Con starting up this weekend. For those of you that don't know what Gen Con is, it is like the U.S.'s biggest tabletop convention. Um, I'm going to be playing the digital version of one of my favorite desktop games, and it is called Legendary. Now the desktop version, or the tabletop version of Legendary is typically Marvel and set around the Marvel Universe. Um... They do have several others that they've put out since starting with Marvel. Um, they've put out like Aliens, a Predator, Firefly, Big Trouble in Little China, um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. They're working on an X-Files version. Um, and they keep coming out with expansions for the Marvel version. Um, and this just happens to be the digital version of the game. And the digital version is set around a more fantasy style universe um it's actually really good they've put out several updates when it first started it was very basic you could only play either by yourself against random matches or you set up your own matches or you played online with other people but since then they've like added the campaign which we're going to be starting to play through and other things as well so what we're going to do here i'm going to play the first campaign game um, and probably the second, the first campaign game is going to be used to explain to you guys how to play so that I'm not just jumping in and you guys wondering, oh, what is he doing? How is he doing it? Um, now this game was needed to be bought before. Now it is free to play. So feel free to jump on Steam, pick it up on Steam, pick it up on either Android or iOS. It's on both. Um, I've actually got it both for Steam and the Android. Um, and also, I'm going to, if I, if I can remember, I'm going to try and leave a link to their Discord. That is where they do most of their information as far as what updates they're going to be doing and answering questions and helping people with their problems. The devs are amazing over there. Um, I, I just, I, I can't say enough good things about these people. They did an amazing job with this game, and I can't wait to see what else they do. I'm kind of hoping for a new expansion soon, actually. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to play. Thanks for joining me, my friends. We've had reports of Centauri raiders pillaging nearby villages. But they have never ventured this far north in the Kar Karkira steppe. The destruction of this village says otherwise. It looks as if the Centauri have already moved on. Not yet, we haven't. Nya, nya, nya. All right, let's get this party started. All right, so just to give you a general idea of what the board looks like, and this is pretty much exactly how the actual tabletop version looks. <clears throat> um, so up here you've got the Mastermind. The Mastermind is the big bad guy. He's the main guy you're trying to beat. This is... Keyleb Bender of the Wills. Um, when it says something like Bound to, what Bound to means is there is a specific villain set that is always going to be played with um, that mastermind. So he's bound to Ernak the Lethal, which means the Ernak set is who is the villain set that's going to be on there. Um, then you've got the scheme, which kind of gives you some more background details of how the game's supposed to be played. So in this, there are eight twists in the setup, and uh, whenever you draw a scheme twist, um, it says put the twist next to the scheme. Twist five through six, each player gains a wound. Twist seven, each player gains three wounds. Twist eight, evil wins. So if we get all the way to twist eight, evil automatically wins. No and ifs or buts about it. However, something that's that this does not say, and I'm a little confused as to why it's not written on the card. For each scheme twist that is played, you have to KO a card from the guild hall that costs six or lower. Um, which you'll see, I'll, I'll definitely get some scheme twists. You can't avoid them. Um, now, going back to the mastermind, some of you might be asking, how do you beat the mastermind? look up here, you'll see there's a four right next to him, but you have to beat him four times. He's got four attacking cards attached to him. 
um, every Mastermind has four Tekken cards. I've never seen a Mastermind now I have four. Now I have seen some Masterminds in the tabletop version that are like, if this is not the first time you've been and you know, put this back in the Mastermind tactics, then that can make things a major pain in the ass. Mysterio is actually the prime example. He's kind of a pain. Um, so, you'll also see there is a number of some some claw marks down here in the bottom right. That's how much damage the Mastermind takes. And you'll also see the demon villains that come out. They have the same setup down there. So that's how much damage it takes to defeat them. Now, you cannot do incremental damage. So it's not like on this turn I could do one damage, next turn I could do four damage or whatever, anything like that. No, you have to do all the damage at once in order to defeat that character or that monster. Um, as you see up here, this is Alameth. This is where the villains will come out, and you'll see I've got 20 villain cards here. And as they come out, they'll come over. You know, they'll come out here if it's another monster, and they'll push themselves down. Um, if it gets to the point where the entire board is full, and then another one comes out and one has to go off, I believe they make you KO a card. I haven't had it happen in the digital version, and it rarely happens to me, anyways. When I'm playing the tabletop version, I'm not saying it doesn't. I just don't remember right offhand exactly what happens, but I think they make you KO one heroes out of your hand um, and some of them have special escape uh, rules as well that will mention on the card like if they escape some specific happens um, now if I run out of villains I automatically lose if I run out of heroes I automatically lose so I've basically got 20 turns to or 21 turns to beat this setup and it sounds like that's not a whole lot of turns to get it done but it's, it's not near as hard as it seems starting off. Down here you've got your mirror shuffle bottoms, and what they do is... So just to give you an example, now I'm going to show you the hero cards. So like on this card, you'll see he's got an attack value down in the bottom left. That's how much damage that individual card does. The number in the bottom right hand corner is how much that card costs. Since these are starter cards, they cost zero. I don't have to spend any money to get them. However, this card, you'll see that it has a star. Those are recruit points. Now, I call it money, and you'll hear me refer to it a lot as money because it takes those to buy the heroes here in the guild wall. And you'll see, like, this hero here costs six money, or six guild, or six recruit points. He costs four, he costs eight. Um, something else, each person has, like, a, kind of like a faction they belong to. I don't know what their faction's names are in here. Um, but on, like, Marvel, that's usually where you'll see Marvel Knights, Avengers, Shield, um, some villains as well have their own factions, sort of like villains, and then so forth and so on. And then underneath, you'll have the specific type of, like, attack that they do. Um, I don't know if their name's on the digital version of this either. Um, but you'll see all these guys have the blue arrow underneath it, and then he's actually got what looks like a cosmic type setup. Um, those will come into play later. Um, so, like, if you look at this card, this has the blue arrow here. Now, in order to activate this ability, I have to play another card with the blue arrow before this one. It's kind of confusing starting off. I, I was confused when I first started playing it, but I learned as I went along. Other And I've helped other people learn. You'll see that go into effect, I'm sure, here within these couple of games that I'll be playing for you guys. Um... Over and above all, the goal is to win, obviously, to beat the Mastermind four times. On the digital version, there's the system down here. If I get 20 victory points, so if you like look at this villain here, he's worth one victory point. Each Mastermind you beat is worth five victory points. And there's other monsters as well that have more victory points attached to them. So what I'm wanting to do is try and get as many victory points as possible. Um, I have three, like I've started, which means I've gotten to the 55 mark for this first level. I probably won't do it in this playthrough. And you actually find, might very rarely see me do it in any of my playthroughs on here. That's something I more or less do when I'm by myself because it's a, it can take playing a specific scenario five, six, seven, eight times before you finally get just the right cards and everything to fall into place the way you need it. So, with everything that I've explained, try and see what happens. So this is the play all and it's playing all of mine. You'll see it appear in the left hand corner. It's tallying up everything that I've got. I don't have enough attack to fight him or this guy over here, but I do have five money. So what that allows me to do is buy one of these three cards.
cars. I'm actually going to go ahead and buy one of these. Those are nice to have. That is going to end my turn. So we'll hold down the end turn button. I bought that, it went into my discard pile. When it comes time to reshuffle um, my cards to be able to draw again, I will have the opportunity to draw the cards that I buy out of here. That, this is actually considered a deck building game, and that's what deck building is. Um, Scheme Twist came out, so I have to KO a hero that costs six or less from the Guild Hall. So I'm actually going to go with this one for now, because I'll probably get another couple to show up. Since it's all my starter cards, I'm just going to play all again. I got three money and three attack. Now, if I had four money, I could get him, but I don't have four money. However, since I do have three attack, there's this monster up here. And if I beat him, I will actually get one more money to spend for this turn. And it's not something I keep for good. It's just something that I have to use to fight for this turn. So I'm going to attack. That's also going to give me a victory point. It, gave, it, it already deposited the money for beating him in. So I'm going to go ahead and now buy this card. And we will end the turn. So as you see, I actually drew both cards. So now I got a KO here. Just to get them out of the way. And then I've got these two cards. They're both the blue arrow, so if I play this one first, I'll be able to do the draw card. So I'm going to play this one. I didn't make any money, so I'm not going to get the special attack bonus. But, that's going to allow me to draw another card. I now have seven money I can spend. There's nothing out here to fight. So I'm actually going to go ahead and buy the six. Alright, we got 17 more turns to try and defeat the Mastermind. Once again, I know I heard said it sounds difficult, but you'll see it's really not that bad. We're gonna get rid of this guy. We're gonna play all of our cards again, because they gave us all basic cards, which is fine. We got another four money. We'll go ahead and buy this for more attack. fight. I still very well could lose this. Alright, so we got a new monster to come out. I got all basic cards again, so we're just going to play them all again. See, I'm kind of getting the shit into the stick here, but I still feel good about this game. We'll buy this. We'll then turn. Progress further. enemy came out. Alright, now, we got this same combo again. So, we're going to play this, 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 play this, play this, which will allow us to draw a card. So, we're going to go ahead and play this, play that. And now we've got four attack and seven stars. So we're going to take the seven stars and buy one of these. We'll spend the four attack on him, which plays the top two cards of the villain deck. And it also gets us three victory points. We've got a scheme twist. Top K over here. It'll cost six or less from the guild hall. Six attack when I go to play him. His 
long as I played him first, though. So we'll drop him in. We'll drop that. Now we've got 12 damage. So what we're going to do, we're going to attack him once. We'll go ahead and just take this front one. I got 4 money for it. It's not back up to 7 money, which is nice. This, since we still got 5 attack left, I'll go ahead and fight him. He'll give us another money. Now any card that costs 7 or 8 is that character's special, special card. It's a high cost card. So with this one, I can use money as attack this turn, which is has the potential to be very, very nice. So we got 8 money. We'll go ahead and get him. We're gonna end turn, so we've beaten the mastermind once. We've only gotta beat him three more times. I believe we can do it. We're gonna play all the money cards first, and then the attack cards. He's gonna be worth four, so the only thing I can really fight is this guy. Now, when I beat him, he's gonna give me the ability to gain a mail on shuffle bottom. I can choose to accept it or not. I'm going to go ahead and accept it. It's always nice to have that chance for extra money. Um, I've got three money to get. Other cards. I'm just gonna buy this. round. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, I played that in the wrong order. Oh well. So, we have a chance to do 14 damage, which we're gonna do. by the seven card and then we're gonna do seven damage he's gonna give us another tactic draw two cards draw another card for each indirect bill in your victory pile I like that so they just had me draw a crap ton He's going to give us a crap ton of money. We're going to go ahead and beat another mastermind. Let's pick that tactic. Look at the top three cards. Dead KO, we'll just card one and put one. We're actually going to KO the money. That. Attack. We're just gonna end the game. Like I said, this was just kind of a tutorial. Since I can still use money as attack, and I got seven left. So we're gonna attack him. Doesn't matter which time you show it to me. Mastermind defeated. We have beaten the first stage of the campaign. That easy, guys. That easy. And there is a online mode where you can play with other people. Where you play with other people. But here's what I like about the digital version. Well, let's finish.
finish this storyline part first. Quick, while he is down, we must warn the others. Ord Mantle, spread the word in Thornport. I'll head back to Ord's or in Citadel. I'll try and muster some reinforcements at Coffer Crossing. Centauri, after the gunslinger. And that's going to end that. As you can see, I've actually gold starred and gotten the 55 on that. Um, but something else I wanted to show you about the app, and it's like this on mobile too. So you've got gauntlet mode, right? And you can only play so many gauntlet mode, or so many gauntlet rounds. Um, I believe it costs a full six energy in order to do it. Um, which is something new that they did. They used to give out like a daily, you're able to do this once a day. So I guess now you could do it more. If you just wait for your energy to refill. And I don't know how long it takes for energy to fill. But whenever you do this, um, you are actually able... This is the competitive version. This is where victory points matter. Um, people will come in here and try their best to make sure they get the most points. Because um, first place will get a gold pack. Second place will get a silver pack. Third place will get a bronze pack. And I'll show you what those packs get you here in a moment. Then you've got co-op. Co-op is everybody working together to try and defeat the boss. Um, this is a lot more laid back. I've seen people come in and be try and be competitive in this mode, and it's a good way to piss off the people you're playing with. Um, typically, everybody is just trying to win. That is the goal. You want to win, so you're working together to try and do things. Um, really fun. This is the more preferred mode for most people. Um, you've got versus friends, which means, hey, if you got friends that are playing the game, invite your friends or play with bots to defeat the boss. Um, and you're actually able to set up which mastermind, which tactics, things like that that you want to play with. And then you've got training, which is just practicing the game. You customize it, play it by yourself. This is what used to be considered solo mode. Now, what those packs get you, they earn you things that you can get. So I've got the starter pack because I had played for the original setup beforehand. So I've got all this fun stuff. Um, gold is their currency, their premium currency, and they've got your standard free freemium type currency, um, which is like a dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, twenty dollar, fifty dollar, and a hundred dollar. Um, and obviously the hundred dollars is always the best deal, but like I know not everybody has a hundred dollars to blow up. I sure as hell don't. Um, then you get packs. So you go in here daily, you get a free pack. So I'm going to redeem my free pack. Yes, I want to redeem it. I'm going to go ahead and open the pack now and see what it gets me. You just got to tap on it four times. 25 silver. Uh, I don't like getting silver out of... I don't like getting silver out of bronze packs. I don't like getting silver out of silver packs. That's when you feel like you've been ripped off. Um, the other packs, like this, like if you go to buy packs... This costs a thousand silver. You'll see I now have eight hundred and thirty silver, so not enough to get anything yet. Hundred gold, so if you're getting your premium, if you're paying your premium, you get that. Now what do these unlock, you might ask? Well, if you go into your collection, I do own the starter bundle. I'm surprised it doesn't say that I have the expansion. Anyways, so each character has skins. And this just means whenever you're playing with your cards, or whenever you're playing, this is how you'll see it. Um, just to give you an example, we'll scroll down because I do have un some skins unlocked. So you got card to win, right? That's what this card looks like to me when I'm playing with this character. So it's kind of got that foil look to it. Um, let's exit out of that. So those are the foils, and then you've got animated versions of cards, which I got a few foils. Then you got animated versions of cards. And what those are, so like here, this one, there's actually some animation in the background instead of just the foil look. Which are pretty cool. On top of that, you've also got your card sleeves, so your deck, this is what my deck looks like. Um, any of them that do not have the lock feature are the ones that I do own or I have unlocked in the game. So there's that. Um, and they've got a bunch of different designs. This is just the coolest design that I've currently got. Um, well, that I feel that I've currently got. There are some others that I do like more than this. I just don't have them unlocked. Um, prime example. 
I actually really like this Phoenix one here. Um, this battle one that they've got going on. And there's other ways to unlock it. Like if you click into this, you see it costs 20 points, and I've got five of these type of points. Um, you get those out of uh, bronze and silver and maybe even gold packs. I've never gotten a gold pack, so I wouldn't know. But this is how many of each symbol that I've got. Um, so, like, if you go back into skins, a lot of these... Well, no, they... Maybe it's not the skins anymore. Maybe they got rid of doing it for all of them. So then you've got your different play mats. The Phoenix play mat is what I'm playing with right now. I've got a few others. Um, like, I could play with the Night Sky, Dark Bird, whatever it is. But I kind of like the Phoenix look. Um, I really like this one. If I ever unlock this one, that's the one I'm playing with. Then you've got emotes, so you can set up standard equipped emotes to use during game. And then, which I've only got four, but to unlock these, uh, yeah, it's like 25. It's a little ridiculous, but if you play it enough, you'll start unlocking things. And you've got your avatars. This is, you know, what you look like to everybody else when you're in a room. So I've got the phoenix symbol. There's tons of symbols. Um, all these I just got for being a pre-purchase person that had originally bought the game. And then I've got physical codes, which you can redeem codes. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get to go to Gen Con this year, especially since I live in the city that it's at, because if I'd played and won at their booth, I guess, I would have a chance to unlock a skin for one of the cards that actually looks really cool. But you can't win them all. So... Yeah, I didn't go to Gen Con because I thought I was going to be moving to Florida, but I did not end up moving to Florida. So so with that being said, we are going to play one more game. These I'll move a little bit quicker through, and I'm not worried about getting three stars on everything right now. Um, also for the first like 25 campaign levels, I think... Oh yeah. Edith's got a 63. I got a 56. Everyone seems to get like... Six. All right. <clears throat> so let's play. Mayor Shufflebottom. Ernak the Lethal and the Centauri Horde are attacking the city. Those barbarians sure have some brass. Maul, gather the guards. Let's teach them a lesson. School is in session. <laughs> uh, just get the guards. Starting off with the scheme twist again. Come on, cut the bullshit. Seven. They are piling them on quick.
came to us.
money. <laughs> I, I expect to lose every draw. think you've defeated me? This was just a minor setback. Centauri retreat. After them. I'll stop them dead in their tracks. Yay. Another one done. Alright, let's go see what my reward is out of my silver pack. Actually, we can buy a silver pack too. We'll send it to the inventory. We now got two packs to open. We got an ultra rare emote. Nice. Another emote. Nice. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Or this edition. I don't know what I'm going to call them yet. Number one of Legendary DXP. Um, I hope you guys really enjoy this game. I'm going to continue to play and record it. I really enjoy it. I think it's fun. Um, I really wish it was the Marvel version, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um, but with that being said, if you like the video, make sure you slash that like button like it's a horny teenage camp counselor. Subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications and comment. And as always, I cannot wait to see you depraved people later.